Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to give special thanks to all of our viewers out there during this holiday season. Welcome to Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. In this episode, we're going to be showing you all of those captures that we've had over the last several weeks. Thanks to you, the viewers, and now on to Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Travis DeAndre Wright is a repeat offender on the show. Your tips located him last time, so I'm thinking it will again. Wright is an African-American male wanted for failure to appear in circuit court on a contempt charge. He's 33 years old, 5 foot 4 inches tall, 160 pounds, with a last known address on Brittany Bay in Rock Hall. And he has two tattoos, the Virgin Mary on one shoulder and Jesus on the cross on his back. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're urged to contact local authorities. Also wanted for failure to appear at a contempt hearing is Michael Patrick McWilliams. McWilliams is a 36-year-old white male. He's six foot two inches tall, 190 pounds, with brown hair and blue eyes. The warrant has an address on it of Newbridge Road near Denton. Remember, your anonymous tip could bring McWilliams into custody. We currently have three warrants on file for Melody Lee Shreve. She's been charged with violation of probation on two controlled dangerous substance convictions and a theft charge. Miss Shreve is a white female, 36 years old. She's listed as five foot seven inches tall, 135 pounds, blonde hair with blue eyes. She has several tattoos, including two hearts with names on her left leg, two hearts and flowers on her left shoulder, two hearts on her right arm, and Winnie the Pooh on her back. We have her last known address as Queen Neva Court in Chester. This young lady shouldn't be too hard to spot with all of these ink marks. The power of social media and the power of you, the viewer. These are arrests profiled in our last show. Christopher Stauffer learned about his assault warrant and turned himself in within a few days of the airing of the program. Laura Reminds also saw herself on the Most Wanted show and came in on October 29th. Another fugitive recently profiled on the Most Wanted show was Stephen Gannon Moss, one of her violation of probation on a first degree assault charge. He's now sitting in the Baltimore City Jail and will be returned to Queen Anne's County for his charges here. Jeffrey Mahoney had been wanted for two years on non-support. Several counties on the Western Shore have been unable to locate him for service. Within four days of being profiled, he was in custody. Christopher Jackson Martella was wanted on a violation of probation charge for a controlled dangerous substance since April of 2013. By adding him to the most wanted, he was in custody within weeks. Carrie Ray Cruz was also arrested this week in Anne Arundel County on a Queen Anne's County warrant for a controlled dangerous substance and theft. You may also recall Aaron Atherholt as the guy with the Ford tattoo on his shoulder. He had been avoiding arrest on a couple of warrants since June. Happy to advise, he was located in Delaware and extradited back to Maryland this week. The power of social media. Like I've always said, we couldn't do our job without the help, the trust, and support that the community has given us by all of these anonymous tips. It just goes to show that by using Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and any means possible, it's proven that Queen Anne's County is a much safer place because of those tips that have been generated. Heck, even the suspects looked at the most wanted show and decided to turn themselves in. We're profiling Franklin Dodd again, but it's a bit different. Rather than continually looking for him, your tips have assisted us in locating him several times in the past but he's wanted again and is avoiding service on the latest charge. He's wanted for a violation of probation on a trespassing conviction. These charges stem from a continuing domestic situation. Dodd's a 46 year old African American male, five foot nine inches tall, 168 pounds. His address is listed as Main Street in Stevensville, but in the past he's been located in Easton and Cambridge. If you have any information or you want to give us those tips again on Mr. Dodd, Hopefully we can take him into custody. It would be nice to see Mr. Dodd do the right thing, walk into our lobby and turn himself in. I'm asking everyone to take a minute during your Thanksgiving holiday that's coming up, during your meal to give thanks for the dedicated men and women working to keep all of our families safe during the holidays. Those men and women in law enforcement, our military, fire departments, all the medics out there, those dispatchers that are taking those calls, and our correctional officers. Please keep them in your thoughts and prayers during this holiday season. 
and special thanks to the folks at QAC TV, Ted McNeil and all the others that continue to bring this program to all of our viewers. Without their help and without the help of you, the viewer, we would not be able to keep Queen Anne's County one of the safest counties on the shore. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.